Rise was created in 1993, and I think it was a, a, an immensely pivotal point for me uh, as a creator. But performing Rise in general so far has been a really thrilling experience. Um, I had a lot of time to watch the piece before I performed it, uh, watching other people perform it. And it always just seemed like a party. And I think that comes from a lot of the inspirations that Doug used in creating the piece, some of the 60s and 50s and 40s dance styles. Rise is uh, quite an exciting experience. I would relate it to being on a roller coaster. Um, and you never quite know what the next uh, whip and turn, where it will take you. And with Rise, I felt as if the entire universe uh, split open and I was able to create a work that felt as if it spilled out across the stage in unpredictable ways. And I love that now as a dance maker because it gives uh, life and it gives spontaneity to the dances that I make. They look like they're happening in the moment rather than planned. And for me, that was a huge gift and a huge lesson to learn. It's always a, a great opportunity to take a look at how uh, my dances have been made. Uh, very often when you create a work and then it gets performed uh, many, many times, you forget the initial stages of what actually got you there. So uh, having the opportunity to tear a dance apart and then put it back together again always reminds me of um, the integrity of uh, how the piece was created and how we then are constantly tweaking the piece to move it forward. I think that the work that I do is twofold. It's, it's about um, engaging a physicality and it's also about the humanity of who we are. So Karuji for me seemed the perfect title because it's about this particular journey.